Hi, second shot of this. Um, I'm actually at my mum's house because I'm waiting in for a delivery for her. Um, excuse me. Uh, I had my glucose tolerance test this morning and it, do you know what, it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because you hear all these horror stories and how horrible it all is and I was like, oh, I don't want to do it. Because I didn't need to do it with my other two. They're starting to like introduce it to like everyone in this area now. I think it's going to become like in America, like everyone has to take a test. Um, basically, I had the lemon glucose drink and it was disgustingly sweet. But it was it was drinkable, but it did make like the back of my um, tongue go. I went like that. It was it was it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible by any stretch. And um, about 10 minutes or so after I had it, I started to get quite stomach sick. But n I didn't think I was going to be sick. I just felt nauseated, uh, which wasn't particularly pleasant. But at the same time, really wasn't. It wasn't even as bad as morning sickness. It was that like background nausea. Not feeling so great right now. Other than that, that was fine. That wore off. I had a little little bit of water, which I knew I was allowed to do. Um, and, and that was it. And then I just felt tired, which is because I had a really bad night's sleep last night, so. So I need coffee. Um, again, decaf. So, yeah, it, was, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So um, I got in the car, got the kids in the car, went to the health centre. I was really bored hanging around for like an hour because you had to take it two hours before the blood draw. And so by the time I'd done my makeup and got the kids ready and everything, because I put it all downstairs, took the drink so I could kill time. And because I do mummy makeup, which takes all of like 10 minutes to do, I was still had like an hour before we even had to leave the house to do this blood test. And I was like, oh, for God's sake, I'm getting really bored now. And I'm really antsy because, you know, I happily go longer than that without eating, without thinking about it at all. But because I knew I couldn't eat, then of course I was like, mm, I want to eat food. Um, so yeah, that's typical. And I'm saying um a lot because again, I did not sleep very well at all last night. Pictures behind me, it made me look like I had a bit of hair sticker. Uh, other than that, yeah, I went in, stabbed me with a needle, took my blood, not a problem. The courier comes to the health centre to take it to Frimley Park Hospital at 10, so it should be at Frimley Park by now. If I'd gone to the hospital itself, I would have had to hang around an hour and then personally go and get my results. I was like, that wouldn't have worked with two kids, it just wouldn't have happened. And I, had to, I took my mum to work before I uh, came back and then came back here for the delivery because as I think I mentioned before she had an accident broke her arm so she can't drive or go go in the car she can't ride her motorbike she can't ride her push bike you know she's stuck so yeah I don't know um so that wouldn't have worked for me so I'm grateful for that so hopefully I'll find out by the end of today what the results are according to the UK ones the two hour glucose you take it two hours before you have your blood drawn your blood sugar level should be 7.7 .7 or below. And if it's 7.8 or above, I don't know whether they do about 7.75, .7 but whatever. 7.8 or above, then that's fine. Uh, no, 7.8 or above, geez, not fine. Then you have to, uh, then you're at risk of diabetes. And I don't know if they do the three hour test here or if they just go, yep, yeah, you've got gestational diabetes. Just starve. No more chocolate for you. And if that happens, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry like a bitch because I like chocolate. So, yeah, it's a waiting game now. So, I'm going to see if I can find my parents recently got Wi Fi put in. They had standard uh, internet for years. I'm going to see if I can find their wireless router and steal their password so I can upload this to YouTube. But until then, I will love you and leave you. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.